This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edger Face Attorney Investigations, everybody! We're on the kidnapped turnabout end part one. Told you. You were correct. All right. I don't know how this is going to even remotely wrap up. Because <laughs> it's go. like we have like 20 different questions to ask. And we know nothing about anything that happened. March 13, 3.45 p.m. Gate Waterland, main gate. Will someone pop out of the bushes? Where's the costume, Detective Gumshoe? Just on the other side of the fountain, sir. Oh boy, it's a Five Nights at Freddy's! <laughs> ah, great. Was it out here in the open all along? No, it was discovered in the tall grass back there. We moved it out here in order to examine it more thoroughly. Then let's get down to it. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious nook and cranny. Great. Just my luck. This headpiece, this must be the Blue Badger Officer Meekins crossed paths with. Ooh, the nerve of someone throwing a blue badger away like this! I worked so hard to create this character! It's like my baby! How could someone do this, sir? How? Detective, how about channeling your anger towards finding the culprits? Good idea! Ooh, wait until I get my hands on- Uh, so who are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Why don't you try figuring it out yourself for a change? It's the blue badger's body section! What a waste! How so? Going through all the trouble to steal his costume, only to throw it away in the end? A real thief wouldn't do such a thing. Nope, no way! I wouldn't think a real thief would try to steal something so gaudy to begin with. Uh, yep. What do we have here? Oh, it's another pendant! Oh, I thought that was sparks! Oh, you thought that was, like, I electronic was, wires? Yeah, I was like, we got a Five Nights at Freddy's on us! <laughs> no! Aw, oh, that, that's unfortunate. I thought, I, I thought this was gonna get really good. Like animatronics like going animatronics around, shooting coming people. Alive. Yes! I thought, like, the kidnappers, I had all my brain, the kidnappers were, like, massive programmers that were like, oh, wait, 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 wait till we get the scoop on this? And they program, like, the animatronics. The real killer was Adam Mada and Lisa no, it, Basil. No, it'd be, like, Chibi Robo with Giga Robo, like, oh, walking around. Chibi Robo, been great so game. cool. <laughs> oh, it's another pendant. That's two treasures in one day. How lucky is that? And hey, this pretty baby's made out of platinum silver, too! Another pendant on top of the one we found on Mr. Deacon? Is it possible that these two... Hold it right there! Oh, come on! Hands off, Mr. Prosecutor! You sure know how to cross the line, don't you? Ah! A pendant, huh? This is a very decisive piece of evidence. How can you tell? Look here and read off what you see. Lauren... Hey, it's the name that's engraved on this. Lauren D. Miss Pop's I pendant data. I wonder who it could be. Added to the organizer. Oh, I wonder if putting them together, it's like, makes something cute. Like a heart or whatever. <laughs> the one of them is a horse. Maybe putting the two of them together, <laughs> it makes a pegasus. That's more likely. I... I... Ha! We have you now, Miss Kidnapper! No, you don't understand! I... I... Wally, I can't believe you are one of my kidnappers. No! Why? That guy's hair is so weird, by the way. Wait, wait till you weird. go back. He is weird. You're kidding! Miss Pops was one of the kidnappers? Well, there were only, like, three original characters in this game. In this case. It wasn't Old Bag. It wasn't going right. to be Emma. <laughs> Yes. It, it was me. I held Lance hostage. So Miss Pops is one of the kidnappers. But even knowing that, I can't call this case solved or over. There's two. Hey, guys, case closed. Get the car ready, and I mean the special one for this young lady. Hold it. <laughs> Again, Mr. Prosecutor? What is it this time? Are you proposing that Miss Pops is also the culprit in the murder case? What happened? I thought Officer Meekins was your suspect. <laughs> we found it. Found what? That officer's gun. He literally dropped it in the middle of a thick patch of grass. Your country's police are a sham. Just look at how careless they are. I mean, he has a point. He has a very good point. <laughs> and, I mean, Me Meekins was not kidding when he was like, I dropped my gun! <laughs> Somewhere. Who are you calling a sham? The officer's I'm a sham. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> the arch drew my sham. Yeah. The officer's gun didn't show signs of having been fired, so it can't be the murder weapon. So Officer Meekins has been cleared of all charges, I see. And that's when a brand new suspect comes walking onto the scene. The murder only happened because of the kidnappers started fighting amongst themselves. As I recall, it was you who said that, right, Mr. Prosecutor? Miss Pops, did you did you really kill Mr. Deacon? Deacon. 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 Like uh, <laughs> this is De Deku Deku. Deku is the proper term. I would agree, but there's so many people who are. It's the Great Deku Tree. Deku sounds terrible. Uh, it does, but I hear it's so Deku many people say it. Deku. Deku. It's like, no, no. No. Deku is the most obvious did one. Did you really kill Miss Mr. De Deacon? <laughs> Mr. Deku. I. Yes, I killed him. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Thanks for the confession. Maybe they paid her off through 20s. <laughs> That's all it takes? <laughs> Agent Lane, it's much too early to declare this case closed. Look at you, so sure of yourself. We've got the culprit's own confession and some very incriminating evidence. What more could you ask for? Miss Lauren Pops? Yes? I want to hear it from you. Tell me your side of all that has happened today, from the kidnapping to the murder. Why? Uh, I'm a kidnapper and the killer. Isn't that enough? Don't cut your hair! No! Don't do what it! Is this Mulan? <laughs> but she does it with the sword. It's fine if you're the one behind everything, but only if that is the truth. Now then, will you tell us the truth? Or is there some reason that you can't? Eat that ring pop. Is he praying? No. <laughs> I think that's yoga. <laughs> I've had a change of heart. I think I'll enjoy watching you sulk away at the Mr. Boozing Mine. Alright, you heard me. Let's hear about all the evil deeds you committed today. Poor thing. Miss Pop's confession. The one who came up with the kidnapping plan was the butler, Mr. Deacon. We knew that if we could get we could get rich by holding Lance hostage. Mr. Romano would pay anything to get his son back, after all. And he is fabulously wealthy. He's Think of all the 20s he $1, has. $1, $2, $3, counting them all the time. <laughs> those aren't just ones. Those are, like, hundreds. Those are $100 bills. <laughs> I say I found oh, no, an $100, $100 bill. bill. <laughs> wow. Everything was going according to plan, but as soon as we got the money, Mr. Deacon turned on me and tried to kill me. Oh, justified self-defense. All right. There! Are you satisfied? She just confessed to her crimes a second time. At least you have the guts to admit what you've done. I can at least respect that much. Miss Pops, is what you said really the truth? Yes, it is. If that is the truth, it certainly isn't the whole truth. Because there is something that seems a bit too improbable in her confession. What, is it gonna be like, she's a woman, how could she best a man? <laughs> is it gonna be is like it gonna that? Be that sexist? <laughs> is it gonna be that sexist? I mean, we've had sexist things before. Oh yeah, Maya's the one who's done most of them, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. How well did you know the victim? And Emma. And Emma. <laughs> it's very common for women to use boys. Is it really, Emma? Yeah. <laughs> I've spoken with him only a few times in Lance's house. A few times? That's it? Um, yes. If they only met a few times, I don't see how they could have trusted each other. But if you hardly ever talk, then how could he trust you not to steal his plan? That's completely irrelevant. He was planning to betray her from the very beginning. Which is why he chose someone who he wasn't especially close to. Isn't that right, Sheena? Yes. However, Mr. Deacon made a very poor choice. I like that voice. In the end, he was killed by the one he intended to betray himself. Ha! I bet he didn't see that one coming. We knew we could get rich! Yeah! <laughs> Two twenties. Goes a long way. You knew? How did you know something like that? Uh, oh no! What should I do? Okay, what's wrong with her now? Come on, isn't it obvious? You're making your scary face again, that's why. Why don't you try asking her in a little nicer, more gentle way? Hmm... No, stop it, Lord. You're always like this. You always fall for the stern looking you want- That's why you'll always be unhappy! Or maybe that's it. She's been bewitched by your icy stare. Mind your own business, Kay. Now then, Miss Pops, let's continue with your testimony. Oh, 
Oh, y yes, of course. Well, that went nowhere. <laughs> Mr. Mono would pay anything. And I mean anything. He'd pay five twenties. Five twenties. <laughs> wow. Can you, can you imagine how much you could buy with five twenties? You could buy like half you could of buy, a Nintendo Switch Lite. You could buy tw um like fifteen cokes at Disney World. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shut up. Like, Why did you believe that? What is fifteen times seven? Um. 95. 95, so yeah. Yeah, basically. 15. <laughs> you got it. I didn't even plan that, but yeah. Great. Why did you believe that? No, 105. Oh, just not 15. Oh, oh. 14. Anyone who knows Mr. Amano would think the same. I bet Lance is the old man's greatest treasure. I suppose he would be to a doting father like Mr. Amano. I always figured that was it, too. I was always envious of Lance for it. Oh! Because your dad's... <laughs> you never realize she's doing the crying face. I can't see... Okay, even on this screen, I can't see her tears. That's not a tear. That, that, is, is, a, that is definitely that a tear. That is a highlight. That's a tear. See, when she closes her eyes, it's still there. L let me see. I gotta wait for her to blink. Oh, barely. You yeah, can... It's, it's a tear out of the corner of the eye. It's barely She's tear. also making the sad face. She's frown. Oh, I guess her... Fr she is a frown. She just kind of looks like... To me... She just looks like she was staring like off into chewing space. something? No, I thought she was just like staring off into space like... Did you think her, it was just like a... A line. Just a line, not the... No, it goes down. down. I can barely And see. her eyebrows are going up too. Yeah, I should And she's holding her heart. <laughs> Come on! I thought she was like staring off into, this, into space like super profound <laughs> thinking. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't read that, but it's fine. I got this pendant from my father. No, you read it. And I believe that as long as I have this, I'll find my father again someday. He'll welcome me into his arms, riding on the back of Pegasus. That pendant, she must truly believe it to be the wings of Pegasus. Everything was going according to plan. But then my outfit was ruined. <laughs> so that's why I had to steal the costume. Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind telling us a, bit, a little bit about the plan itself? Well, first we captured Lance. Ooh, how'd you do that? Um, that's... Well, Mr. D Deacon did that on his own, so I don't quite know. Ugh, and here I thought you knew how to steal people away. I shudder to think what she would do with such knowledge. Sorry, I really don't know. But somehow, Mr. Deacon was able to contain him. All we had to do after that was wait for the ransom to be paid, but... Mr. Deacon turned on me. Why do you think he did? I have no idea, but maybe he had planned on doing so from the very beginning. Miss Pops. Wait, Mr. Deacon planned to kill Miss Pops from the very beginning. Was that ever really likely to happen? If they didn't know each other super well. What should I do? Should I raise an objection? Nobody decides to just be like, I met you twice, but you suck. <laughs> People kill overalls, do sorts of stuff. Like, dude, I need steak. <laughs> I don't know, it's just <laughs> weird. No, I shouldn't show my hand this early on. What is this, poker? Let's see where the rest of this testimony takes me first. We got through the whole thing! Ha! I see kidnappers also weep when they get stabbed in the back. Even as you betray the one you claim to love the most. That's... no! You don't understand! What's there to understand? <laughs> What's wrong, Kay? I can't believe she was betrayed. I kind of feel sorry for her. I feel a little sorry for her, too. However, I also wish she would tell us the whole Ed truth. Edgeworth is, like, emotionless. He's just like, this is stupid. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe they made this into a game. But we need we need people like that, though, in, in life. I'm the very mm -hmm. emotional, sobby bobby person. And you're like the, alright, it's fine, we'll just... And I'm like the, oh yeah, my ear kind of hurts. That's a double That's ear a infection. That's a double ear infection. That's just you with pain. You're like, oh, I guess I'm bleeding. There's like gushes <laughs> coming out of your arm. Although I have that same thing. Because I had that realization when I was doing that. I walk out of the shower. Oh, my face is completely red because I had an explosive nosebleed in the shower. Oh, great. I forgot you have those. Occasions. I occasionally had just have explosive nosebleeds. I like have only gotten one. I think in my whole life. It was awful. But I had it's, it. They're just irritating. I got it because I sneezed three times in a row and it was so irritating that it started. 
literally, no, it was like, I chew, I chew, I chew, and like, I couldn't get a breath, and then, like, it just started gushing and bleeding. I'm like, this is awful. No. We're already. Because there is something that it seems a bit too improbable in her confession, I'll give it another careful listen. <laughs> No, we're raising the objection. I'm sorry, but I don't think what you just claimed is all that likely. Huh? I don't think Mr. Deegan would ever have been capable of killing you. Why? We are total strangers! It's not uncommon for people to kill each other over money! Miss Pops, you really are clueless, aren't you? What do you mean? You never knew what your role in the kidnapping was, nor do you know who you really are. But I do, and I can show you with this piece of evidence. This proves Mr. Deacon wouldn't have been able to bring himself to kill Miss Pops. Uh... Oh. She had a Take bad that. badger no. head. Miss Pops, you don't know, do you? But this piece of evidence will tell you exactly who you really are. Looking at it, I still don't feel anything within me at all. But now I really feel like I don't know anything! Hey, Mr. Prosecutor! Are you sure the one who doesn't know anything isn't you? I guess that wasn't it. Oh, is it just her name tag? Her name tag. Her pendant. <laughs> my is name is Arthur. My my name is Lauren. My name is like, Diamond. And I like dogs. <laughs> Hi, Diamond. <laughs> Alright, I should calm down and listen to her testimony once more and take another good look at what is in my organizer. So her pendant or his pendant? Hers, it says Lauren D. Her name's not Pops. Number one D. It's not Pops. It's something else. Why are you showing this to me? So what about the pendant? This pair of wings along with this piece of evidence shows who you really are. Oh, prosecutor's badge. Does that really have anything to do with the pendant? What the heck? Of course not! I suppose not. Oh, he was just like, yeah. <laughs> There's something that is very clearly connected to this pendant. Edgeworth really loses his cool. He just, like, loses it if, um... Old Bag shows up, basically. Old Bag shows up, or if there's, like, an earthquake. He really loses it during those. Or if he gets whipped. Or if he gets whipped. And this sometimes. pendant is the key that will open the door to the truth. The poor dude. Growing up, he probably just got whipped all the time. These two pendants resemble each other, wouldn't you agree? Hey, you're right! They're the same color and even made of the same material! I believe that these two pendants are actually one. Ah! Shall we give it a try? Wow, it's... Oh, it's sorry, wrong person. Wow, it's... It's totally Pegasus! But why? Why does my pendant match up with Mr. Deacon's? You're a smart lady. I'm sure you can imagine why that might be. Uh, no, that can't be! So the two made a set. Ha! It's just another trinket. It's not as though this changes anything. <laughs> you lack imagination, Agent Lane. Very well, I'll show you with this evidence. This is the piece of evidence that gives meaning to the Pegasus pendant. Oh, I have no idea. For a second I was like, Ooh, bad survival. No! <laughs> this piece of evidence clearly does not demonstrate the meaning behind the pendant. And? So what? Hold your horses. Yeah. I believe there might exist a piece of evidence that can better explain the meaning. You believe there might? If you have it, then why are you playing coy with it? Ah, uh, very well. Prepare yourself. <laughs> prepare yourself. Prepare to be amazed. Uh, love letter? No. Uh, Colin, yes. Look at that. Colin Devore dossier. He has a Penedent dog. prison. He has Pen his wife and sole daughter, but despite surveillance. But well, we'll show that, and it's either she's the daughter or she's the wife. I'm guessing she's the um, wife. No. Um, he's in his 50s. And she, okay, hang on. It, it could be like hang on, hang on. He's 50. She's 19. Okay, sorry. In my brain, I'm like, she's 30. This, no. is, this isn't this is like a Max Regina situation here. <laughs> I'm editing I this really like, right now. I really like him. Uh, you're like so young. It's like, um, she's 16 and he's 21. So that's kind of weird. weird. That's weird. Oliver Deacon was just an alias for this man. His real name was Colin Devore, the name that is etched on the horse pendant. That's you. Oh, I thought that's a... I saw the L, I'm like, that's Lauren. What? Lord. An alias? I suppose he had to hide the fact that he was a felon somehow in order to live. And it makes sense, given what is written in Mr. Devore's dossier. 
what I really wanted to point out was this. This specific section is what reveals the true meaning behind those pendants. You know what I kind of miss? Having the really weird bracelet, like... Do, 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 do. I still miss the Cyclops, though. I, I really miss Cyclops. I'd that like, was the coolest thing. I'd like you to take a look at around this area. Lane Z says the timid never reach the land of truth. You'll have to be more specific than that if you want to convince me. Yeah. Do I have to spell it out for you? Alright, then I'll direct you to the exact section. It's the one that says soul daughter. Mr. Devore had one daughter, and her name is Lauren Pops. That's a lie! That person was not my father! He couldn't come out and tell you he was your father because he was in hiding. However, I believe he was trying to secretly watch over you. Do you still believe that a man like that could kill the daughter he was separated from? Or even that such a man would allow his daughter to get involved in a kidnapping plot? <laughs> Sorry, I hiccuped there. <laughs> and what is so funny that ca it caused you to hiccup, Agent Lane? You're good at making things up in your head and deciding it's the truth, aren't you? What are you trying to say? You're thinking is much too innocent. After all, I thought of another possibility. Is that so? Well, let's hear it. This guy gets way too many testimonies. I'm sick of this dude. <laughs> like, he's gonna be in another case, I bet you. And we're just gonna be like, freaking Lang. <laughs> another possibility. Lang Z. Lang Z. That's his ancestor. He's Shivon Lane. Lang's his last Shivon name. Lang. <laughs> I'll grant you that the two of them are father and daughter. Mm -hmm. But isn't it possible that they both knew that fact? It was no coincidence that the reunited pair became involved in the House of Amano. And the two of them made good use of their meetings to plan this little kidnap. Um, they've only met, like, a couple times. Wouldn't you say my scenario is perfectly probable as well? No. 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 They only knew each other barely because he was in hiding because nobody wants to be like, Whoa, oh, I'm your father. Mm -hmm. I'm a felon. <laughs> Hi, I'm a felon. <laughs> so this... I mean, fella. I'm a fella. I'm a fella from the prison. Yeah. So this is his version of how things might have been. You don't have any proof that either one of them didn't know of their true relationship, right? You mean they knowingly committed the kidnapping as father and daughter? That's right! As one really rotten family! Is that really what happened? I'd better take a long, hard look at the evidence. No. Did you think their mother would, like, remotely let them do that? Uh, the wife? <laughs> the mother? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, she, maybe, maybe she's really dead. Weird. I hope she- Every- Okay. Everyone's parents in this game seem to be dead. It's the anime Edwards, cliche. May no! That's not an anime cliche. Kind of is, isn't it? Some of the- I'm gonna <laughs> count how many. Actually, I just thought of three right <laughs> off the bat that have that. No, there's gotta be a couple others. Oh, so I should ask, who do you think the killer is in this case? Or are you like, Wayne? <laughs> I would not be surprised if it's Lang. Um, uh, it could be... So, have, has it been confirmed that there's only two kidnappers, and then they just stole four costumes because they're weird? We think there's three, we because if there were three, three coffee cups, unless someone we just think was that shot. There is I mean. three. One of them is apparently this girl, which I guess that's the only way that we would have been able to figure this out, is she was just like, ah, I confess to everything. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, Lang, I, I want it to be him. You don't, don't like Lane. I don't like him. I don't really like him either. At least certainly not at the it's beginning. It's common for butts to die. All that. <laughs> okay, so wait, oh. on, let's see all... Oh, we can't oh, look at profiles. Can't look at profiles. Hold it. Hold it. I want to look at profiles. So this guy, the other thing. Mm-hmm. So, Von Karma... <laughs> You're, I know you also suspect a she I did. So Von Karma is working with two people. One person's an Interpol agent, which is Lang. The other, we don't know. No, the other was There's the guy who died. Mr. Stewart. Okay, so they're working on this big cover case, which probably we're going to get involved in the next time. Um, in some way, shape, or form. I'm wondering if this case will kind of connect to the next one as well. I mean, all of these are connected in a way. But I'm wondering if it's like, okay, we solved this case, and because of that, these events go on. Look at his this. hair! Look at his face! <laughs> He's got like a chubby cheeks. poor cheeks. guy. Very chubby cheeks. Um, I was gonna Sorry. say some, uh, oh, security lady. You don't even call her old bag. Uh, <laughs> I believe her real name is Wendy Oldbag. You know her name is Wendy Oldbag. You're just trying to ignore that. 
Yeah. Um, but I think that maybe it, it could be Lang. Because how would he have this power if he literally sucks as a human being and just would be like, you're going to jail, and you're going to jail, and you're going to jail. You're all going to jail. It's like you're the anti-Oprah. To... Yes, yeah, the anti-Oprah. I'm like, how did this guy get power? Unless we had connections with, like, the mob, Tender Lender, Von Black Mountain Market, maybe Von oh, Carter. I just, I just want to note it. I think there are four or five organized crime fiends that we've seen thus far. So there's Vasquez and her mafia. Yep. Um, there's the Cadaverini family, who were the tender yeah, guys. Yeah. There was the Kataki family. Kitaki and now there's family. the Amano group. There's the Amano group. There was another, I thought, too. And uh, I guess you well, could, I guess if you count the killer. The killer, yeah. The killer is his own assassin group, basically. <laughs> a group of one. A group of one. I meant a family of one. <laughs> a family of one. Um, but I, I think it could be that Lang. Like, I don't know what this other dude, uh, Mr. Stewart, was doing in his time. But it could be he's like, oh, Von Karma. I know that her father was, like, the biggest prosecutor. And he had, like, so many dirty dealings and stuff. I need her on my team. Oh, Mr. Stewart. Oh, you follow children in your car. Yeah, I'm <laughs> taking what... you over here. Yes. <laughs> and then, like, just grabbing, like, the ultimate group. This other girl, Sheena. Maybe she's also, like... An Interpol an, agent. An Interpol agent. Or maybe just, like... A, dirty scoundrel that's like doing whatever and he's trying to get this group of people together so he can rule <laughs> so he can these... control <laughs> the world yeah yeah basically <laughs> okay that's marty's theory could be precisely and what father would ever willingly kill his own daughter oh yeah i forgot we were actually still playing i've seen a lot of fiends in my travels and i can tell you that being related by blood is sometimes proof of nothing that is true yeah people can be weird yeah he's got a point there uh, but is it impossible that they knew the fact? No. You think they knew? Yeah, I don't think only the victim knew. I think the girl realized it as well. They both knew who the other person was, but they had to pretend that they didn't. Because he was on the lam. You got it. The victim couldn't exactly go around flaunting who he was. Furthermore, you'd think he'd get like pl plastic surgery like Mamie Miney if he was gonna well, do that. He looks he... exactly the same. It's pretty weird. To, and here's the thing, if you get a name change, I don't know how it works. It's probably super duper complex to get surgery. Not if you have ties with the mob, though, or... Well, but it could be super complex where it's like, okay, I went to the dentist like a week ago, and I'm a totally normal human being, and I had to fill out like seven forms just to get my teeth looked at because, like, I'm now 18. It's called bureaucracy. It is, but it's like, um... I'm wondering how complicated it would be to be, like, getting a surgery. Like Von Karma. Oh, just be glad that we don't live in a socialist country where you have to wait, like, a year just to get, like, a simple medical procedure sure. done. Sure. Well, and, like, okay, I just realized this. Von Karma didn't get the bullet out of his shoulder because, of course, it's like, you probably have to explain to the doctor how it's there. All these different things. He just kind of literally shouldered it off. <laughs> and, but it might be that same kind of idea of, like, oh, well... You know. Gonna kind of ignore this. Okay. One is a butler, and one is the friend of the son, you mean? They probably thought that that was the best shot. Is that what you honestly believe? Of course! Simple presses. Two of them made good use of their meetings to plan a little kidnap. Just a little kidnap. Not a big one, just a little one. Just a little Only for a million dollars. People. You mean how they plotted to commit the crime as blood relatives? Can you think of a better partner? They're certainly a clever pair. The butler and the girlfriend. No one would ever suspect that they were, in fact, family. Yes, from the very beginning, they painstakingly practiced those roles as well. What do you say my scenario is good? No. I believe you're being a bit too overconfident for someone with no evidence. Am I? Because I don't see you presenting ev any evidence to the contrary. Ugh. Thought evidence to counter him were stuck in a draw. Agent Lane isn't wrong. His scenario is certainly probable. No. You better hurry up and do something, or Lauren's going to wind up looking really bad. I know, but first things first. Is Agent Lane's line of logic factually correct? Did the two of them really knowingly commit the crime as father and daughter? No. But do you know how? Can you explain how he gets out? <laughs> Cause I actually don't remember this one either. Let's look at the evidence. Once we figure out let's let's like look and see what Okay, the so prosecutor's badge is not gonna be that. Gate Waterland pamphlet, probably not. 
Badger photo rally, also Badger probably not. in my bed. Badger in my house, in my, my bed. bed. I can't believe we haven't said that yet. We've had all these badgers. <laughs> badger, badger, badger. Um. I'll get it with, like, uh, like, like, honey soap and lavender soap and monkey, monkey soap, soap and all kinds of soap. And sprinkle potent powder to remove the, the smell. smell. <laughs> I would not have even remembered that line until you started saying it. And monkey soap. What the heck is monkey, monkey soap? I don't know. Body Mr. Diggins murder weapon. They're like... Murder weapon. She's a girl. She can't move a body. <laughs> I don't know why my ideas are like super sexist, but... They are. She's like a homeschooled girl who doesn't know how to drive. They're like, she can't transport <laughs> Okay, body. okay, we are homeschooled, and I could say as a homeschooler that homeschooled females, there's only about a 50% chance that they'll get their driver's license. I drive, I'm good, but like, half of my friends cannot drive, and it's super weird. And the other half can, but they drive 30 miles an hour in parking lots and hit okay. all cars. Okay, well, <laughs> that's the one exception. Yeah, I, that girl, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she or any of your friends are gonna watch this. I have one friend who watches our videos. Oh, that's, that's is it? Um. Um, but I have one uh girlfriend who watches the videos oh. occasionally. Um, but she's not somebody who hit my car at 30 miles an hour. Okay. And, but she doesn't. <laughs> did die. you think? Oh yeah, she did hit your car, didn't she? Yeah, she hit my car. Not at 30 miles an hour. She just like <laughs> she was parking. She was like. Whoops, I just remember me. that happened like three times that she drove like 30 miles an hour in a parking lot, hit a parked, hit car, a parked car while parking at 30 while miles parking. an hour, and like. I was and, in the car one of the times. And and her mom was like, "All right, that's it." Like and like every time I saw her after that, she had to park like as far away from everyone as else as possible. Far away as possible. Until you learn not to drive 30 miles an hour while parking. <laughs> Anyhow. Sorry, friend. I, I, I hope you don't watch our videos. I don't think she does. I don't even know if she knows me on YouTube. Oh. Half of my friends know and half of my friends don't, and most of the ones who know are like dudes. Because they like um, oh, wait. watching I, games. I don't even know what stage you're doing. Yeah. Actually, though, my friend who wanted to do the Hat in Time Let's Play with you um, started uploading some... He's playing, oh, nice! He's playing some game. I, I couldn't... Uh, it's very psychological. Psychological horror, maybe? I don't know. Is it Doki Doki Literature? No, it is not Doki Doki Literature. Is, oh, is it the I new? Is it the new weird game that just got released? Maybe. Steam? There's this. I've heard this that there's game one. where you're this dude. Is and... it Hot to Full Boyfriend? No, it's not. That's not new. Oh, I know it's not it's no, new. Date birds. It's great. No, it's not. How about you date the loner pigeon? How about you date I the date doctor? Duck. I would date a duck. Date the doctor pigeon who kills you. Um, you could date that the. That sounds like a great and idea. And if you don't um, date one of the pigeons, then uh, you die at the end of the game. Apparently. Wow. I I, I only... have no idea what to do. Here. Me either. We're just gonna game play. Seriously, it's... I don't know. <laughs> It's the... Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow! We really overthought this. This kidnapping wasn't planned by just two people of... Now we're presenting it here. Never mind. <laughs> and what kind of proof do you have of that? Quite simply, there were three kidnappers. Free? <laughs> Four costumes were stolen from the Wild Wild West area's back room. We found one of them in the kidnapper's hideout. But as for the other three, we can assume that they were being worn by three different people. We also found a set of three cups and three folding chairs that were used in the hideout that you all missed. It all clearly points to a free man group. And I believe this third person is the real mastermind behind the kidnapping. Who? Who is this mastermind? I present to you the brains behind the kidnapping. I mean, I would love... Do you think it was Lane? <laughs> Actually... I think it might be Lance. You think it's Lance? <laughs> because here's why. If they make... It could be that they struck a deal. Like when um, Dahlia and what's-his-face were going... Terry to, Falls. Yeah, Terry Falls. And they were like, bring us the money. And then they were just going to take it. It could be another repeat of that. They're like, oh, we just want like $1 million so we can buy a house. Okay, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> Which we need a sweet honeymoon. <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like it should be somebody who works at the park. 
because it would have to be somebody who knows the back rooms, knows the underground <laughs> it's the passages. Bell boy. I mean, maybe. Except we don't have his profile. The brains. Otherwise, it could be. Hey, not if we present Sheena. Oliver. If we present Oliver Deacon, it will be a special dialogue. The real puppet master of this kidnapping is this person. I can think of no one else. I can think of no one else with such faulty logic as you, Mr. Prosecutor. Yeah, It wasn't this person? <laughs> Thinking back, there really is only one person the third kidnapper could be. Well, who is it? Who's the mastermind behind it all? I finally know who Lang looks like. Who? Okay, okay. Fire Emblem Fates. Uh, have you seen any of the cutscenes or anything from no. it? No. Is, is he like the weird, like, evil king? Yeah! <laughs> he looks like the weird evil king that's like... Every, like, two seconds okay. when, uh, um, not Azula, um, a mom. What's the name of the blue-haired girl that's like... I don't know, I haven't around. played Fates. Okay, you've, you've seen the girl. I don't know her... Around. I know, but um, I don't know her name. Azura? No. That's not, the, that's whatever. not right. Do you actually want to try Lance? I do! <laughs> I really do! I was right! <laughs> Lance Umano! Yes. <laughs> yes, this abduction was in fact schemed up by Lance himself. And he ran off of it. Recall what he said when he appeared before us? Did you see the faces of your kidnappers? No, I didn't see their faces. But two, one was a woman. However, there were three kidnappers, which is in direct contradiction to what he said. But, but, I know I only saw two people! This guy was being held hostage. It's possible he couldn't see all three of them. Ah uh, yes, but what about when you were being held? I have my doubts about what happened then. Lance, would you mind telling us what happened while you were being held captive? I really don't remember much anymore. Honest. But if I don't tell you at least something, you won't believe me at all, will you? He looks so bored out of his mind. Lance's testimony. I was kidnapped yesterday morning. They had me shut in that room blindfolded the entire time. But the kidnappers suddenly disappeared around the time I heard rain falling outside. My hands were cuffed, but it was a stroke of luck that they left me alone. His hands are still cuffed, also. Another, <laughs> oh. uh, another guy. His handcuffs are. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I made my escape and ran away from that room as fast as I could. Oh, they're a good pair. They both cry. That's what makes a good pair. <laughs> no, but they both have the same, like, uh, like crying. Marty, uh, we came to marriage counseling for you. No. Do you think we're a good... Well, let me start off. Uh, do you both, both cry? cry? No. <laughs> no. No. Don't ever get marriage counseling for me anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're not I certified. Any... I don't know anything about it. Through the underground passageway, I presume. Are you okay? Sorry, I really didn't want to recall that horrible orde ordeal, but, but now you believe me, right? Well, you've got the same voice as the guy who kept mumbling under his breath, uh, the mask to mask. Oh, oh, but I really oh, don't want to... <laughs> oh, yeah. Ron Delight, maybe. Yeah, Ron Delight. No, bit. not quite yet. Yeah. Ah, how can you not? Why do you look at me with icy daggers in your eyes? Because he's a prosecutor and because they're all like that. I'll have you know, Agent Lane, a prosecutor's eyes are for discerning the truth. And should they be interp interpreted as cruel at times, then so be it. Damn! <laughs> there is a sticking point in Lance's testimony. Let's see what he offers up when I push a little. Let's see what he offers up when we push <laughs> so a little next to... time! So all we have to do is make Zuko angry! <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Okay, cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Turn it next time! We get to cross-examine weird hair. And weird, weird face. Hair. I feel bad for calling him that, but... He's ugly. Wow! I mean, <laughs> Just... he is! Just a bit! <laughs> he was also kidnapped for a day. He was, but, I mean... Yeah, your the, face at least you get... can comb your hair! Your face doesn't get that fat in a day. <laughs> wow! I don't know! I just... Uh, I, I just feel like um, Lauren could aim higher. Although, she is aiming for a guy who is set rich. to inherit a million dollars or more. She's actually just Elita Tiala from the past. Yeah. Just a gold digging didn't work out this time. Gotta change my name, my identity. Say I didn't age as much as I actually did. And probably and buy a motorcycle. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.